All right. Pray to God that everything is all right. My recording doesn't break or crash. Um, the audio is all right. Nothing's too loud. Nothing's too quiet. Oh, the wondrous joys of being a YouTuber. Hey everyone, um, I'm playing this game called Balan Wonderworld, mainly because I have not heard good things about it. Uh, not many people like it, and so I am decided to play it for that reason alone. This game, from what I've seen, has a um, very um, Sonic Lost World kind of vibes. Or like um, Sonic Colours. I, it gives me those type of vibes. Was it made by the same people? I don't want to go off and say, oh, I, I believe it was made by the same people. Because if I do that, and I'm proven wrong, I'm going to sound like an idiot. But I'm going to say, I think it was made by the same people, so that way I don't sound like an idiot. Wow, this game looks very much really unfinished. <laughs> like, I don't want to be shitting on this game already but okay yeah so essentially every single button is jump oh dear this is not going to go well i can already tell <laughs> this game looks so unfinished like i and like it's supposed to come out in like a month or so which button do I use to kick these things? Because they're super annoying. Okay. Door number one or door number two? You have selected door number one. You get yourself some deodorant. But behind door number two was a awesome Lamborghini. The number one biggest thing I hear a lot of people saying is that this feels like a Sega game. And I honestly get what they mean. Like, it's not just because it looks like Sonic Colors or Sonic Lost World. Well, for one, you've got sort of really kind of weird movement with the characters. Like, weird motion caps that they were like, Here, put on this motion cap stuff, start dancing. It's not going to look weird whatsoever when we actually um, put it through. Alright, you can tell it, alright, another way to tell it it's a Sega game is that the camera is completely fucked. Alright, I'm some sort of wolf thing. And every single button just does the special move. Aren't you every emo kid's um, persona wrapped into one? I just killed all those enemies with just pushing one button and not doing anything else. I Here's another, another way to tell it's a Sega game. It's stupendously easy to play it. Okay. Uh, what? Oh! Okay. Alright. This is new. Okay, tap went better. Alright. No idea what's going on! Okay, just... Mm. I kind of feel like I'm not doing anything really special, but the game is making it seem like I'm actually doing something.
I did the thing! Yeah! Alright! Look at it! I did it! Wow, they really skipped out on the facial animation, didn't they? Like, literally everyone around here has the same facial expression. I am unlocking all of my personas. Yay, I solved the puzzle by doing nothing. Okay. Okay, so I need to escort it. Follow me. Follow me. Jesus. Just in case if you were stupid enough to fall through these gaps, they decided to place these th these uh these flowers for you. How generous. How kind of them. I'm sorry, what? You you wanted to actually see me uh, do a boss fight with that thing? Well, there wasn't really much of a boss fight. It kind of ended before it's even started, really. Like, like nothing really, well, happened. I know how shapes work. This is a rich and intense story. Character building right here, ladies and gents. Character building. This is how you build character. No, no, it's like, man, you down as you you're down in the dumps. Come join me, come join me in my emo squad. We'll wear dark clothes and smoke, even though we're underaged. Every emo kid ever. Sorry, the genuine lies, but that's pretty much how it is. Oh no. It's even worse than Emo. He's become a furry. Oh, right in the crotch. Oh. Tornadoes! This is so hard to avoid. Oh my god. This is so intense. Wait, is that it? No, wait, sissy, is, is that it? Like, wait. That, that can't be it, can it? I mean... Seriously? How long did that boss fight last? Like, what, two minutes? If not less? What? What? Yeah, 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 yeah. Awkward motion capture dancing. The music isn't actually that bad, it's actually quite catchy. So it is a Sega game, 
Um, it's got bad gameplay, gameplay, it's pretty much boring in the first few seconds you play it. It's very gimmicky and the gimmicks don't last too long to the point when you're fed up with them. But the only good thing about the game is that it's got great music. So yeah, a Sega game. A Sega game made by Square Enix. Boom, there's the title of the video. Yeah, you take that shovel. Yes, you go, man. You go plant those cords. Yeah, you can do it. You got this, man. I, I believe in you. We all believe in you. What happens if I feed them? So this is the the quintessential of a chow garden. I, I don't want to keep com making comparisons to, you know, like, Sonic games and, like, Sega and everything, but, like... It's kind of hard to avoid the comparison. Uh, my general notion, this game, se this game seems quite fun, it could have been interesting, but generally it, c it turns out to be, um, kind of boring, lackluster, and missing a very key ingredient. That seems to be the same ingredient that uh, Sega is using for their games, and that is uh, making the game actually fun. So, um, yeah, enjoy. Oi, like, comment, subscribe, all the generic things that every YouTuber says at the end of their videos. Goodbye.